Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at making a 3D text effect in Photoshop. So this is what we're going to be making. Here's a little preview of it. And this is what it's pretty much going to look like. So it's a really cool effect and let's get started on teaching you guys how to make it. The first thing you want to do is make a new image. It could be any size that you want, but I'm going to do mine 1000 by 800 pixels and press OK. Then just fill in your background with any color or any gradient that you want. I'm going to add a quick gradient to it. I already have my gradient saved, so I'll just add it really quick. And just click it, OK, and OK. OK, now what I'm going to do is just use the text tool and type in Octo GFX. You want to select a thick text. Um, I recommend something like Impact. That's um, they, all computers have that. Well, all, all Windows computers have that, so you could use that. Uh, right now, I'm using Franklin Gothic Heavy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just type in Octo GFX. Make the GFX a little bigger so it can match the width of the octo. And you just want to pretty much make your uh, your text look any way you want. And I'm just going to set this up right here. And then type in .com. And set that over here. Okay, now that you have that, you just want to rasterize all of the layers. Uh, so I'm just going to select the paint bucket tool because this is a quick way to rasterize it. Select uh, one of the text layers, click. It's going to say this type of layer must be rasterized before proceeding. This text will be no longer editable. Rasterize the type and you press OK and now it's rasterized. And just do that to all of the texts. And then just merge the text once you're done with that. Just select all of them, right click and click merge layers. And once you, do, once you have done that, just double click on the layer to open up the layer styles menu. We want to add a stroke to this layer. So open up the layer styles, go to stroke, add a um, add whatever color that you want for the stroke. Uh, whatever color this is, it's also going to be the color of the whole 3D effect. So I'm going to make mine white, press OK, and I'm also going to make the size of the stroke 2 pixels and press OK again. Now what you want to do after you have added the stroke, you're going to see this little FX, uh, this little FX icon on that layer. So you want to right click on that and click create layer. And now what that's going to do is separate the actual text layer with the stroke. So um, just right click on the stroke layer and duplicate that layer and press OK. And then press control T for the free transform tool. This is important and then press down twice and left twice and press enter. And now what you pretty much need to do is uh, redo that step a lot of times to make that 3D effect. But obviously no one wants to sit there and do that for an hour. So there's a shortcut to it. Just hold control, alt shift T and just keep clicking that a bunch of times and you'll get that 3D effect. So let me do that here. And as you can see, it's starting to build up. So just keep clicking it and just keep clicking it until you like it, like like where it is. Uh, you could stop at any time. There's no set limit for it, really. And we're almost done here. I'm almost satisfied with it. And that's it. We are pretty much done. Uh, what you can do is just merge together all of these layers that you made. Uh, I'm going to do that just to keep everything simple. And then I could just move this around and do what I like to it. You can uh, move it around and make it bigger, make it smaller, do anything you really want to it. And But that's it. This is your final product. This is it. So you're done with this 3D text effect in Photoshop. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Hope you guys learned something today. And this is OctoToots.com. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.